This is Janet Mann, this 78-year-old woman who was walking downtown when she was hit and killed by a driver on Tuesday afternoon. The Spokane County Medical Examiner's Office says Mann died of blunt force injuries and the manner of death was ruled accidental. Mann was hit near the intersection at Main Avenue and Brown Street Tuesday just before 1 p.m. A statement from Mann's family reads in part, Janet was well known as a passionate advocate for children and parents. She leaves a lasting legacy in the field of attachment theory. Most of all, she made every day better for anyone lucky enough to be around her. We are devastated by the loss of her and grateful she was ours. Marissa Rio tells us why two women who walk that intersection often say the area is dangerous for pedestrians. This is a busy intersection to cross. As I walked through this exact crosswalk earlier today, some of these cars on Main turning here onto Brown just didn't stop. Now I spoke with a few women who walk through this intersection often and both of them said something needs to change. This intersection is horrible. This whole street is insane. That's how one woman describes the intersection at West Main and Brown. She lives in the area and happened to be here right after Janet Mann was hit. As soon as someone started whispering that it was a hit and run, it was just like the most disheartening thing ever. I cross that street all the time, so you know, it was, it's kind of a nightmare. A few people walking through this intersection tell 4 News Now that cars speed through this area often, and many people walk here. But when the walk signal goes on and people start crossing, cars can't wait to go through. One woman who says she was almost hit walking this exact intersection today says cameras and more signs are needed. They could also add lights in the ground of the crosswalk so the snow plows would not interfere that alerts drivers who are not paying attention when someone's in a crosswalk or when a crosswalk is activated. In Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.